Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements in my practice where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practice in pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body standard operating procedure. Because the human body is a healing and regenerating and renewing system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing system a miracle, it is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, or you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, or you have skin health challenges or an autoimmune issue you want deal, help dealing with, or a loved one has some kind of health challenge that you want to help them with, we welcome your phone calls at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. We want to help you change your life today. We want to help you change the lives of loved ones and family members and workmates today. 844-236-6010 is our number. I am dedicated to your good health. And let us help you help yourself. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Treatment skin health products, head over to truthtreatments.com. Make sure to take a look at our retinol 5% gel made with 25%. A huge dose of premium, fat-soluble, stabilized, very powerful Vitamin C, no, preserv no preservatives, no fragrances, no silicon, no oil, no wax, no nothing. Do you know when you buy a skin health product, skin care product? I make a very, that's an important distinction that we haven't talked about. Skin health versus skin care. When you purchase a skin care product, not a skin health product, there aren't very many of those out there. Of course, truthtreatments.com are skin health products. When you purchase a typical skincare product, you're paying for 90% water, wax, filler, oil, silicon and other excipients and fillers. Very off, very rarely will you have more than 1% or half percent, maybe 2% of an active material. That's 98% baloney. Even moisturizing products and anti-medical-grade uh, uh, therapeutic products utilize Vaseline as their active ingredients. Yeah, Vaseline and then uh, mineral oil. Those are the two most uh, uh, used or popular active ingredients for therapeutic, the kind of moisturizers like Eucerin that, you, that doctors recommend. Why, why would people pay so much money for Vaseline and mineral oils? Because we don't understand ingredients. Anyway, be an ingredient deck reader all the time. Foods, skincare products, you'll be shocked. When you start to read ingredients on your skincare products, your moisturizers and anti-aging products, etc., you're going to be very, very surprised. Okay, we are talking vitamin E. Last we spoke, we said vitamin E for the brain and nervous system. Vitamin E protects the myelin, the coating on brain cells and nerve cells from, from oxidizing, from going rancid. If you ever smelt a rancid oil, what you're smelling is an oxidized oil and that same kind of chemistry that makes an oil rancid, that same kind of chemistry that makes oil stinky and not usable, that same kind of chemistry that makes oils not available for foods, not available for food grade, food grade oils, are uh, typically not going to be rancid. In any case, that same kind of chemistry occurs in your brain, occurs in your uh, nerve cells. And vitamin E is a protector of that rancidity. That's why it's always included in nutritional supplements and in, sometimes used in the skincare world to keep oils from going rancid. Vitamin E is, in my opinion, a must-have supplement for anyone who's dealing with or anyone who's the caretaker of someone who's got Alzheimer's or any dementias any kind of brain health issues, or for people who want to avoid dementia, and for folks who want to maintain and improve cognitive function. You don't have to be sick. You don't have to have dementia or brain health issues to benefit from vitamin E. Multiple sclerosis, the same way, Gillian-Barre syndrome. 
the same way. Parkinson's disease, palsies, any diseases of the brain or the nervous system should be thought of as places where vitamin E can be helpful. Vitamin E is a protection vitamin. And it doesn't work in chemistry the same way other, uh, other vitamins do. Vitamin C works to facilitate chemistry. Vitamin K works to facilitate chemistry. The B complex works to uh, make energy reactions happen in the cell more effectively. It facilitates energy, energy production. Vitamin E is more like a preventer. It prevents damage uh, from excess energy, particularly excess energy from light and electrical energy that's associated with fats. Remember, fats are highly electrical. That's why they go rancid so quickly. That's why you have to be careful with eating fats. That's why Dr. Wallach and Dr. Glidden and other folks say don't eat them at all. I don't go that far because I, there's still some value, in my opinion, to fats. But certainly their point is well taken, and it's because of the high amount of elect electrical energy in fats. That's why we, the energy in fats is why our, our culture runs on fats via oil, via fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are a type of fat. Oil is a type of fat, obviously, and it has a high amount of energy. And that energy is unstable. Energy, energy that's useful is also unstable, and that's why vitamin E and fats go together, and that's why vitamin E protects the fatty parts of the body, the, particularly the brain, and the skin, and the eyes. Vitamin E dampens excess energy. It sucks it up, so the excess energy cannot do damage. It acts like an energy sponge. That's why it's protective against sunburn, and wrinkles, and dark spots, and accelerated aging of the skin. Wrinkles, especially. The same benefits protect your eyes from macular degeneration, from any degeneration of the eyes. Vitamin E, if vitamin E is a must-have for the Guillain-Barre and multiple sclerosis and Parkinson's and dementias, it's a must-have for eye health, too. The eyes, by the way, are part of the brain. They're an extension of our brain. They're literally wired. They're connected right to the brain. If you look at a, a Google image of the eyes and the brain, you'll see the eyes are like stalks of the brain. They're almost like the brain's antennas. And vitamin E's protection for, the, for brain protective benefits from dementia and Parkinson's disease extend to the eyes. And remember, all of these benefits are not going to, you're not going to be able to exploit or leverage all of these benefits unless you're supplementing because the stuff is not in food. Or, or it's, I shouldn't say that, it's, it is in foods, but not to really a very high degree. I mean, tiny amounts are in foods. One of the most underappreciated and possibly the most important role for vitamin E involves diabetes and blood sugar issues. Vitamin E is an anti-sugaring vitamin. And if it is a must-have supplement, if you're dealing with Alzheimer's or dementias or you want to improve brain health or you want to protect your brain, if it's a must-have supplement for the brain and nervous system, it is a must-have or an extra must-have supplement if you have diabetes or sugar or blood sugar issues. It protects cells from sugaring, glycation it's called. If you ever had a hemoglobin A1C test done, you've, what the doctor's done is he's test your, tested your hemoglobin, which is a protein in, in red blood cells, uh, to see how, how, uh, how candied they are, how caramelized they are, how sugary they are. That reaction is called glycation. And vitamin E protects against glycation. And vitamin E protects against something called metabolic syndrome. I love that term. I love that, that name, that designation, metabolic syndrome. Syndrome is a health condition that has multiple symptoms associated with it. ADD, or uh, that's a type of syndrome, mental issues, emotional issues, developmental issues. PMS, premenstrual syndrome, has breast swelling, abdominal pain, headache, pelvic pain, nervous tension, jitteriness, uh, insomnia, Nausea and vomiting, these are all aspects of PMS, heavy periods. These are all aspects of PMS, and if you look at them individually, they look at, they're like they're separate. You got problems with the breast, problems with emotions, nausea and vomiting, they look like they're separate, but they're all encompassed under this umbrella term, syndrome, premenstrual syndrome. A syndrome is a, is a, a disease or health issue that has various seemingly non-associated health issues or symptoms. AIDS, Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome. You get chronic infections, you get fatigue, you get nausea, diarrhea, rashes, diarrhea, rashes, fevers. All these seem like they're separate, but they're all part of the syndrome, Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome. There's all kinds of syndromes out there. Metabolic syndrome is the most interesting, or one of the most interesting. We'll talk about that when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back after this. You are listening to GCN. 
Visit GCNlive.com today. Okay, we are back on the bright side. My farm spend got a couple lines open for you at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, let us help clear up any confusion. If you have questions about skincare products or skincare ingredients, we can help 844-236-6010. And if you have questions, of course, about the longevity products or the longevity business, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number today on the bright side, today and every day on the bright side. If you want to join the bright side Ben team, please call 866-735-2470. Let them know you want to join the Brightside Ben team for a once, one-time $25 fee. You can start a business. You can't. Where else can you start a business for $25? Bucks? If you go all out and get the healthy start or the uh, the uh, CEO pack, you get products that you can give away. It's a great way to start a business, folks, and it's a great way to help people. Great way to share share. If you've benefited from the longevity products and nutritional supplementation, it's a great way to share what you benefited to pay it forward, as it were. You can also call, or you can also check out my website, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, so we're talking vitamin E. We've been talking vitamin E for a while. There's so many, it's just an amazing, amazing, amazing supplement. For, uh, before we went to break, we were talking about metabolic syndrome, which is a, like other syndromes, it's kind of an umbrella term that encompasses various, various seemingly separate uh, separate uh, symptomologies, like PMS is a syndrome, AIDS is a syndrome, Sjogren's syndrome is an autoimmune disease that affects the muscles and the skin and the salivary glands and uh, the tear ducts. So metabolic syndrome, which may be the most common syndrome, it's thought that 100 million Americans, that is a, that is a crazy number, folks. How can 100 million people have one type of health challenge? And we see this all the time in the world of health. 100 million diabetics, 100 million people are obese, 100 million people have liver disease. We're going to be talking about that here uh, later today or tomorrow. 100 million people have metabolic syndrome, one out of three. So if there's three people in your family or six people in your family, two of them, one or two of them are, have metabolic syndrome. Take all your friends and, and start to divvy it up, and you'll see how many people have metabolic syndrome if you just figure one in three. So metabolism is everything. Everything in the body is metabolism. So metabolism syndrome is just a crazy term. Metabolic syndrome. It means an everything syndrome. It means anything's possible. It's a smorgasbord. And it's, by the way, this used to be called syndrome X. They don't call it syndrome X now. Now they call it metabolic syndrome. I remember doing a presentation for the longevity uh, uh, annual convention back in 2001 when longevity was a tiny little, uh, tiny, relatively small company, about a couple thousand people maybe. That was in 2001. So I did a presentation pre-9-11, you know, the innocent days, pre-iPhone, pre-PayPal, pre-eBay, the Stone Ages. It was only 14 years ago, but it seems like it was primitive compared to how advanced we'd become. And back then, no one had ever heard of metabolic syndrome or syndrome X. And I remember asking a lot of questions about or uh, answering a lot of questions about metabolic syndrome and syndrome X. These days, all healthcare professionals have heard of it and, and many of their patients as well. As I say, one out of three or maybe one out of three or one out of four Americans have it. So the underlying feature of metabolic syndrome is a reduction, a a deficiency in how sensitive cells are to insulin. And insulin affects everything. Every single thing in the body is affected by insulin. Insulin is the hormone that allows cells to to get fed. Insulin can be thought of as as your garage door opener. Insulin is the gar- a cell's garage door opener. It opens up the garage so deliveries, get, so uh, nutrients can get delivered right to the garage. And sometimes some little cellular protein opens up the door to the house and welcomes the nutrient in, chaperones the nutrient into the house. Those are literally called chaperones. But insulin is the garage door opener. And once the garage door opener doesn't work anymore or isn't receptive, you know how sometimes your garage door opener, you can press it a few times, it's just not opening the garage? That's basically diabetes right there, if you, if you can transfer the metaphor. So insulin is when your garage door, uh, I'm sorry, diabetes, type 2 diabetes, is when your garage door opener doesn't work as well. Cells become less responsive to the garage door opener, to insulin. And then, because it's all cells, 
Any cells can become malnourished. That means any, any issue can happen. Brain cells or liver cells or bone cells or 